Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jay, and welcome to my channel where I give you guys tips on skincare, go over some of my favorite skincare products, as well as the cool ingredients inside of them. So if you guys are interested in this type of things, make sure that you like and subscribe. So for this video, I'm going to do something actually a little different. I will make this my first reaction video in which I will react and give my opinion on someone's skincare routine. And for this video, I will have the pleasure of reviewing TikTok stars Addison Rae's nighttime skincare routine. So this should be pretty exciting and fun. But before I even get into that, I want to give you guys a quick skincare tip for the day. So do not make this mistake that I've made. So a lot of us use washcloths or towels as a part of our skincare routine to help pat our faces dry because you should be patting, not rubbing. Or we may use these items as a way to help assist in rinsing our face after using certain products on it. And it will be inevitable that you will eventually need to wash these products. So when you put these products in the washing machine, make sure you do not overuse the detergent. Put the right amount that it says on the box in comparison to, I guess, the load that you're washing. And do not make the mistake of putting too much detergent in. Because when you do that, when you go back to use this in your skincare routine, it will the soap the soap suds will sud back up and in effect it will irritate your skin as it has did my eyelids right now which are literally on fire at the moment because this happened to me last night but you know i'm you know i'm taking it like a champ i'm still going to continue doing what i need to do i'm not going to let this stop me but yeah just for skincare tip don't overwash your items but with no further ado i'm going to now review this nighttime skincare routine by addison ray um, and in this, like I said, for this video, I'm going to just review the products that she used, give my insight on what I think about the products and the ingredients, as well as just my overall ending thoughts on the whole skincare routine as a whole. So let's get started. My eyes look so light right now. What's going on? Anyways, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Addison Ray, back with another video. Not in the time that I said it was going to be, but... <laughs> Here we are. So I'm going to do a highly requested skincare slash nighttime routine. This routine changes. Let me just say that I'm really interested to see this skincare routine because her skin looks really nice. Like it looks very moisturized, very smooth. Like it looks like, what do they call it? Do they call it like porcelain skin? Like it looks really, like it looks really healthy. So I really hope this is good. A lot. I mean, it has changed a lot. It's always changing. What am I saying? It's changed a lot over the past months years, decades. I'm only 19, so I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, so this is my skincare slash nighttime routine. It's not nighttime, nor is it really even close to being nighttime because it's still really bright outside. It's not like I'm gonna, gonna go to, okay. Can I even talk? It's not nighttime yet. Well, it's like 6.30, but that's not really nighttime because we already know I'm gonna stay up till like 3 a.m. anyways. That is the story of my life. I always stay up to like 3 a.m. every single night, no matter how early I try to go to sleep. So yeah, let's go. Here we go. So here we go. Please help. All right, let's get started. So first off, I'm gonna take my makeup off. I usually use like the Neutrogena face wipes, but I don't have any right now. I just ran out. Once I run out, it usually takes me a while to get more because I just forget. So I usually steal my mom's, but I'm not gonna go right now because I just don't feel like going upstairs. Actually, mom! <laughs> yeah. Can you get me a, a makeup wipe? Or dad? All right, so now that I got my makeup wipe, I'm gonna take my makeup off and then we can go along from there. So I don't know too much about makeup wipes, but one of the things that I have encountered in my research is that makeup wipes are actually not the best thing to use for getting rid of makeup for a few reasons. One, because they contain a lot of harsh chemicals and preservatives that can be really irritating to your skin. Another thing is that makeup wipes can cause a lot of tension on your skin because it involves like a lot of rubbing, which is not really good to do on your skin with any type of wipe or cloth, as well as that can help cause premature aging as well because it really does damage your skin on a microscopic level. And lastly, makeup wipes aren't really good at getting the actual makeup off. Oftentimes, it just smears a lot of the makeup on your face as well as a lot of dead skin cells and it really isn't that effective so uh i don't really think this is the best thing in her skincare routine to use and even though i'm giving like makeup wipes a lot of crap right now i do want to provide an alternative to makeup wipes so there's actually a website called soco glam that actually has something called a double cleanse and i heard that a lot of people did cleanse their face twice like i did hear that some people use like an oil-based cleanser then a foam-based cleanser and i personally wasn't really appealed by it just because I don't feel like I need to clean that my face that much 
but the reason for having a double cleanse and some people's skincare routine is because that a lot of people do wear makeup and sometimes you do need more than one cleanser so it's great to use an oil-based cleanser so an oil-based cleanser would be a really good alternative to makeup wipes and getting the makeup off your skin followed by a foam cleanser which can help get all the rest of the dirt and dead skin cells out of your skin as well and just and a recommendation that i would give you guys would be something from soco glam which is called the hand skin pore cleansing oil and it contains bha so beta hydroxy acids and i think this would be a great alternative to makeup wipes as it actively fights blackheads and it goes deeper into the pores and it's, it's just a much more effective way in getting the makeup off your skin versus a makeup wipe which just smears it everywhere but let's see the rest of the video So now that my face makeup's off, I'm gonna take my mascara off, but it only takes water, so I don't need this anymore. Dad, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go straight in to my next step, which is this clarifying wash. It's Sonia Dakar. So I've actually never heard of this brand of clarifying wash. So I'm actually gonna take some time to look it up right now. I think she said clarifying wash by Sonia Dakar. Okay, okay, and I found it. So this is called the Silver Clarifying Face Wash. And it's by Sonia Dakar, and it is actually $59, which is pretty pricey. And it comes with 3.3 fluid ounces, so that's actually that's actually pretty expensive. But the description says it's a face wash for acne prone skin with proactive probiotics, silver ions, and oil control actives. This sulfate free formulation is gentle and suitable for irritated acne prone skin. So let's see some of the ingredients. So I see niacinamide is one of the ingredients, which is a pretty good ingredient as it helps to protect your skin against pollution and different toxins, as well as helping to keep your skin moisturized by providing a lipid barrier to protect it. So another ingredient I see is actually colloidal silver, and that was actually promoted in the actual title of the label. And I don't, I'm not really sure what colloidal silver does, so I'm actually looking that up right now. And according to netaporter.com, um, so colloidal silver's benefits are still being further investigated on a clinical level, but many like Origin Tum Apothecary founder Joy Isaacs believe that applying colloidal silver topically can help treat everything from rosacea to acne and to aging. So that's actually a pretty good thing. That sounds pretty good. It helps with, so I guess colloidal silver has more, I guess, more clinical properties more so than just beautifying properties like it seems like it helps protect from skin conditions and keeping your skin healthier rather than just you know just cleansing your skin so another ingredient that i see is panthenol and according to healthline.com panthenol is a form of vitamin b5 and it's essential for your skin and hair and as far as the skin goes it helps with your skin's hydration elasticity and giving it a smooth appearance as well as soothing red skin inflammation and little cuts or sores like bug bites or shaving irritation so panthenol seems to be something that's really good with irritation and helping soothe your skin, which is a pretty good ingredient. I also see glycerin on this list, and glycerin is a really well-known humectant, which means it draws moisture from the environment and puts it back into your skin, helping to keep your skin moisturized. I also see citric acid and salicylic acid, which are two acids that are really great for exfoliation. Citric acid is actually a alpha, alpha hydroxy acid, also known as AHA. And salicylic acid is a BHA, beta hydroxy acid, and these two work both well together in exfoliating the skin with citric acid exfoliating more so the surface of the skin, helping get rid of discoloration, a lot of things on the surface of the skin, while salicylic acid goes deep into the pores, getting out a lot of the dirts and oils out of your skin. However, the citric acid and salicylic acid are near the bottom of the list, only one spot away from the fragrance or parfum, which is the botanical blend that gives the products their fragrance, which is always the lowest concentration of a product due to it having a strong scent and can be very irritating to the skin. So I do kind of question the effectiveness of the citric and salicylic acid being that they are on the bottom. I mean, yes, they are great exfoliators, but I am kind of wondering, like, is this... I just don't know how well it will be doing at cleansing your skin. Given all these ingredients, I'm sure that it does cleanse your skin. However, I don't know if this would be best for people with oily skin like me who, are, who is very prone to breakouts. I really like it, and I just started using it actually, so it's kind of a part of my new skincare routine. Okay, once I have that all rubbed in, I'm going to wash it off with some warm water. Okay, I really need to put my hair up. I'm sorry, it's bothering me at this point. Now that my hair is back out, I'm gonna continue and wash this off my face. All right, so my face is soaking wet. I'm gonna dry it off, obviously. Okay, good, she's patting her face dry. 
as she should be. Okay, so now that my skin is dried off, I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is a face mask. So usually I take this face mask and I leave it on for seven to 10 okay, minutes. Okay, so she's Normally using a face eight. mask, which is something that's common in a lot of skincare routines. This is something that I never do just because I don't like masks on my skin personally, but I do wanna see which face mask she's using. It appears like it's from the same company. Okay, and I found it. This is called the Rose Gold Radiance Mask by, again, Sonia Dakara. And this is a, so the description of this product says, Sonia Dakara's Rose Gold Radiance Pore Minimizer Mask with red Moroccan clay and white willow bark draws out impurities and visibly reduces appearance of pores while delivering a boost of radi radiation. So let me just say that sentence needs some commas because I could barely breathe reading it. But this mask is $68, which is pretty high, and it doesn't look like they give you a whole, whole lot. Like it. Yeah, so that's not a whole, whole lot. But let's look at some of the ingredients. So, okay, so this mask contains lactic acid and hyaluronic acid. So for those of you guys who do not know, lactic acid is another alpha hydroxy acid, also known as AHA, which helps to exfoliate the surface of the skin, getting rid of a lot of marks, sun damage, blemishes, acne scars. And hyaluronic acid is another humectant, which is actually a lot better than glycerin, as, is, as in this is like one of the ultimate humectants. It draws water from the air and makes sure it puts it back into your skin, keep your skin really moisturized. And in fact, I read somewhere that hyaluronic acid is able to absorb a thousand times the amount of its weight of water. So I also wanna get into the actual main ingredient which this product is kind of known for, which is the red Moroccan clay. And when looking at the benefits for Moroccan red clay, according to ournaturalroots.com, Red Moroccan clay is a natural clay powder found in, you guessed it, Morocco. And the clay is highly absorbent and mixes easily with water or other moisturizing oils. And some of the benefits of this clay is that it removes blackheads, it tightens pores, evens the skin tone, brightens the skin, tightens the skin, helps with elastic elasticity, helps with aging, treats acne and pimples, and a lot of other benefits, also anti-inflammatory. So this clay has a lot of a lot of benefits for the skin. So I think that this would be quite an effective mask in really making sure that your skin is moisturized as well as exfoliated. So another ingredient that I see is Salix Alba, also known as white willow bark extract. And some of the details on this ingredient is that the bark contains salicin, a compound similar to aspirin, and salicin is metabolized in the body to create salicylic acid. So as you guys know, as I mentioned earlier, salicylic acid is the primary beta hydroxy acid as it goes deep into the pores of the skin, removing a lot of dirts and oils and dead skin. So as you guys can see, this mask contains a lot of great ingredients. It contains AHAs as well as BHAs, as well as red rock and clay oil, which has a lot of benefits to the skin as well. And I feel like this mask will really make up for the cleanser and in in that the cleanser seems to be quite gentle, which is not a bad thing. However, if you do have oily skin, it could be, it may not be enough. So I think this mask is a good follow-up to that. So I'm gonna do eight and yeah, let's do it. You know what, I'm gonna move it over here so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I'm gonna hold this mirror and just put it all over my face. I'm gonna try to put it evenly. Um, I'm not always the best and look at that, I got on my lips. So <laughs> I'm just going to continue to put this on evenly until my face is fully coated. All right, so now I'm gonna start my timer and leave it on for eight minutes. <laughs> yes, why not eat when you're waiting, right? Oh, that's the most annoying noise. All done. All right, so now that we're all done, we've done eight minutes with the mask on. I honestly could do longer. So I'm going to take this off and then I'm gonna brush my teeth. All right, so now that my face mask is off, I'm gonna brush my teeth, and everyone always asks me how I get my teeth so white. Um, I brush them. I don't really drink coffee that much. I drink like cold brews every once in a while when I really need energy, which is like not very much because I have so much energy by myself. Don't really drink sodas very much, so I guess that's another reason why. I don't know, but I'm gonna brush my teeth. So let me just say that her teeth are actually very, very white. I think that there's something that she's not telling us for her teeth to be that white. Like I brush my teeth in the morning and at night, and mine are not nearly as white as hers. You guys be the judge. All right, so I brushed my teeth and now I'm going to use this blemish buster and put it on my acne, which right now is everywhere. 
but hey, what did I say? We're working on it. That's actually a very interesting name. I never heard of that blemish buster. So let's see if we can look that up and see what that product is. Okay, so of course this blemish buster is also a product of Sonia Dakar. So she really loves Sonia Dakar. And this product gives you half an ounce of the product and it's $30. So still on the high end. But I mean, I'm, I'm pretty liking these um, products that Sonia Dakar has. Like they are expensive, but I, but I feel like they have really effective ingredients if you use them correctly and use all of them. So the description on the website says that blem the blemish buster diminished acne in as little as 12 hours. It attacks acne on three fronts using the encapsulated salicylic acid to exfoliate it, as we mentioned before, the beta hydroxy acid, using probiotics, lactobacillus, and bifidobacterium to kill acne causing bacteria, and use the silver ions, as we mentioned earlier, the colloidal silver, which are natural antiseptic to reduce visible inflammation. So let's see some of the ingredients. So upon looking at this ingredient list, I'm already am not a fan of this product, you guys. I see waters listed first, which is usually the first ingredient with the highest concentration. And right after water, I see alcohol. So one thing about me is that I really try to avoid any skincare product that has alcohol in it, at least that type of alcohol, because it's an astringent that can be very damaging to your skin as it can really dry out your skin, as well as it can irritate your skin as well. So I do not like the fact that alcohol is the second ingredient listed in the ingredient list, which lets me know that there is a significant concentration concentration of it and I you know I just by that alone I'm really I'm not a fan of this product so I would not recommend getting the blemish buster unless you want it but I'm just saying for me I wouldn't really approve of it and don't get me wrong you guys I'm sure that this product may work it may give you some results but I feel like in the long term this is not really good for your skin like I feel like the results will happen in the short term and that's something that you really want to try to avoid as well you don't want to really use a product that works like overnight because it it, it leads me to question like, okay, this product did work, but why did it work so fast? What like super ingredient is making it work like that? You, so you wanna use a product that works gradually in my opinion, because if they work overnight, that means they contain really bad ingredients like alcohol. And I would just really try to avoid that. So that's my suggestion on that product. Do I feel for her skin by putting all that on her face? Now that I'm done with my Blumis Buster, I'm gonna put this chapstick on. Okay, chaps, that's good. At least she puts the blemish buster on like the actual pimples, not on her whole entire face. And oh, she's done. Mm, tastes like cherries. Oh, wait, I actually just licked that. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now I'm officially done with my skincare. Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my skincare routine and kind of getting a little feel for, I guess, my nighttime-ish routine. Normally, I wash my hair in the mornings, so like when I, after when I, what am I saying? I cannot speak. Normally, I wash my hair in the morning, so it's more of like a morning routine type thing. Let me know if you guys would like to see that and I can do like a hair care slash morning routine type of video and um, kind of just bring you guys through my day. So yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Comment what kind of videos you guys would like to see because I am open to anything because I don't have very many ideas for YouTube yet, but I definitely want to do some family vlogs. Family like pranks maybe? I don't know. Thank you guys again for watching. I love you all so, so, so much. You guys are amazing. Okay, so that is the end of Addison's video and so my final thoughts on this So I feel like this skincare routine is very unorthodox. It's very different from my skincare routine Like I feel like any skincare routine should have a cleanser an exfoliator a toner as well as a moisturizer and serum and her skincare routine involved a cleanser followed by a mask and then a blemish buster that contains alcohol so I mean I feel like the skin. I feel like the first two products were really pretty. Were pretty cool. Like I do like the ingredient list on them. I feel like the cleanser is a little bit gentle on the skin, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But I feel like for someone that suffers from acne and blemishes and things of that nature, you might want a stronger cleanser. But I, mean, I feel like that cleanser does work. I mean, after all, it does have. It, her skin does look great. As far as the mask, I am a very big fan of the mask. I love that it has a lot of exfoliating properties and anti-inflammatory properties, as well as making sure that your face is moisturized. I really do love that. So I feel like out of all the parts that she used, the mask is the best one. The blemish buster, I'm not a fan of that at all. I'm not an advocate for putting alcohol in your skin. Um, as far as the way that she used it, I, mean, I feel like it's not as bad as it could have been because she put it specifically on the spot parts of her skin that I guess are her trouble areas, like areas where she had pimples or blemishes on. So I am, I'm at, I'm at least a little bit happy that she did that. 
but like I said, I'm just not a fan of that product at all. But I think the clay mask is definitely worth getting. Like it seems like pretty good. I personally wouldn't get it because I don't have time for a mask, you guys. But still a great product nonetheless. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like what you saw, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me some more recommendations for any products or ingredients that you want me to go over. And if you have any more videos that you want me to react to, please leave it in the comment section and let me know. And I will see you guys next time.